Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we'll be digging into the topic of whether or not Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry allowed romantic relationships between students. Now, this is a bit of an interesting issue, since I can't find anything that would suggest that Hogwarts absolutely banned or prohibited relationships within its castle. In fact, there are even instances within the series that would suggest rather the opposite. For example, in the Goblet of Fire, Hogwarts hosts the Yule Ball, a time-honored tradition of the Triwizard Tournament. The fact that the school allowed this formal dance to take place showcases their support of a tradition that hinges on attendees asking dates to accompany them. This is further supported by the fact that the tournament champions and their partners are expected to open the event with a first dance together. If Hogwarts prohibited relationships between students, I find it hard to believe that they would also host and participate in an event that very clearly encourages attendees to come with a date. But while I don't believe that relationships were prohibited at Hogwarts, I also don't think they were necessarily encouraged. In taking a closer look, there are actually several things in place to dissuade or discourage romantic relationships at the school. I've uncovered five. 1. The lack of private rooms. None of the students that we know of have access to private bedchambers. Instead, every student is assigned to a dorm room with a group of other students. This seems to, at the very least, be an attempt to prevent students from being alone with one another. 2. The inability to access other dorms. Now, even if the dorm rooms provided any sort of privacy, it would be difficult for students from other dormitories to access rooms that weren't their own. For example, the stairs leading up to the girls' dorm in Gryffindor House turn into a slide when they detect a male student trying to climb them. 3. You're never truly alone. From sentient paintings to haunting ghosts, it's rather difficult to find a moment alone within the halls of Hogwarts. In fact, it's not altogether out of the question that the sheer number of paintings and spirits present within the castle was done with the intention of keeping an eye on the students and their activities. 4. Hogwarts keeps a strict curfew. Then there's the curfew. So, even if students were able to find somewhere on the grounds to be alone, they would need to do so in broad daylight, considering how strict the curfew was at Hogwarts. In fact, you may recall in the Philosopher's Stone that Draco attempted to trick Harry and Ron into being out of bed after hours in an effort to have them expelled. Expulsion is a rather good deterrent for a midnight rendezvous if you ask me. 5. Chaperones were a plenty. In addition to the magical and or deceased beings keeping watch of students, the Hogwarts professors also seem to be endlessly prowling the corridors of the school. Not to mention the cranky caretaker, Filch, and his rather unfriendly cat, Mrs. Norris. Even at the Yule Ball, Snape was standing guard over the garden, presumably to prevent students from sneaking off into the night together. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. What did you think? Did I miss anything? Do you think that Hogwarts allowed relationships between students? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.